become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the quest for that magic number, the 300 pound bench press and the silver era methods that can help you achieve an increase in your bench press and achieve this uh, this goal of which most bodybuilders strive for. And in the article, which um, I guess has, has inspired me to uh, create this video, it was written by Barton Horvath, a silver era legend himself. And he actually also states that even back then, the goal of almost every bodybuilder is to actually achieve a 300 pound bench press. And who better, who better to learn from than the silver era pioneers and legends such as Marvin Edda, Bob McCune, Clarence Ross, Al Stephen, and John McWilliams, or which successfully pressed at least 400 pounds on the bench press or more. These great men of the past have used methods that are not commonly used in bodybuilding gyms nowadays, but they, these uh, methods actually are more commonly seen in good powerlifting gyms. And in the article, Barton Horvath, the author, addresses some of the excellent methods used by the great pioneers of the Silver Era and um, mentions his own improvements, having learnt from these greats when he trained them uh, with them um, as well. So let's get straight into it and learn what Barton Horvath actually learnt by training with, with the greats such as Marvin Edda, Clarence Ross, etc. Fantastic article. Now, one of the most important things that Barton Horvath states in the article is getting your mind around the fact that you're going to be lifting a very heavy weight. And the psychological barrier really needs to be broken. As he puts it really well, one of the major difficulties to contend with is the psychological effect of thinking that the weight feels heavy. If you can make up your mind that a weight feels light, and if it actually does, then the chances of success in any lift is greatly improved. This goes for any style of lifting, bench pressing or, lift or Olympic styles. So a prime requisite for improving your best effort on the bench press is to get you used to handling more weight all the time. And this means lower reps in the press. And so really it's all about getting used to handling heavy weights, uh, overload, and um, overcoming the psychological barrier that you've basically set yourself this own limitation and the best way is a lower reps um, done for many sets so for example you could warm up for uh, three to four reps using a moderate poundage and you would start to climb up the ladder you would go 10 pounds heavier for three reps and basically use these lower rep sets uh, adding 10 5 to 10 pounds each set until you reach your limit and once you do you would drop it at least 10 pounds and do many sets of one rep to even up to two reps but really it would be better just to do many sets of one rep sets this is very very much like um brooks cubic's uh, dinosaur training methods where he highly recommends the use of one rep training really to get you used to using heavier heavier poundages week by week and barton horvath claims that by using this method he actually gained 50 uh, pounds on his bench press in about six weeks. Now another successful method from the silver era to lift the, your poundages in the bench press is to use a partial range of motion on the floor press by using two boxes. Basically uh, this is partial range of motion training. Um, it is not the floor press as uh, performed strictly um, where you have the bar right over your chest but you basically have a very high box of about 10 inches high placed on either side with the barbell resting on them and you're only going to uh, almost lock out it's a three to four inch motion the press itself is only three to four inches so it's almost a lockout i guess you could almost do this also when you're on the power rack and of course you lie on in, in the partial box floor press you would lie on the floor under the barbell and press and perform this three to four inch motion and um, typically according to the author you could use up to 50 to 100 pounds above your maximum on the bench press to perform these uh, partial range of motion uh, movements and uh, he does give the example for example that Abe Goldberg silver era legend could handle 600 pounds in the partial box floor press 
Barton Horvath himself, after training with him, could handle up to 500 pounds. So that's pretty impressive. So obviously these methods have an effect on your tendons, ligaments, joint strength, and your overall bench press power is going to go up. If you'd like to learn more about Silver Era methods of strength, you can check out Strength and Bulk Training for Weightlifters and Bodybuilders, written by Reg Park, Mr. Universe of 1951 and 58. Um, it's on, available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. It's full of fantastic programs for really building up your strength and uh, skyrocketing your poundages for greater bulk uh, and, and muscular development. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Silver Era methods used by the uh, greats from the Silver Era on increasing their poundages in the bench press. Now, I, I previously covered a video where they use the floor press, but these are other methods that you could try and incorporate if you like in your own program. Here we have the marvelous Marvin Edda performing some ridiculous poundages here. I think it's up a 400, 425 pounds on the bench press here. Mind you, with a wide grip too, it's insane his, his amount of strength that uh, Marvin Edda had. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron. Or you can visit my website, as I mentioned earlier, where there are many books and courses from the Silver, Golden and Bronze Era available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.